Welcome to another edition of Breakdown. I'm your host, Coach Karan Godwin, all-time leading scorer of the University of North Florida. Also author of that great book, Everyone Hates the Ball Hawk, but they all love the score. Uh, today we're going to Jimmer Fredette Breakdown Part 2. In Part 1 you saw that Jimmer Fredette is just, just an ultimate scorer. Uh, he has the basketball IQ and he can do things on the court that most people can't. And it's not because he's a better athlete than most players, because he isn't. It's because he understands and he knows the game of basketball. He understands how to score. In this situation, he's going to be an NCAA tournament game. And this is a situation where there's a lot of pressure. So he's forced to let the game come to him. So let's go in and take a look. It is important in high pressure situations that you read the defense. In this play, Jimmer crosses over, spins into a double team, and finds the open man for a three. You see, Jimmer understands how to let the game come to him. This time, the defender doesn't help and he pulls up for a nice tray. When you can score points in alarming numbers, coaches are going to try everything to book. Watch here as they come out in 1-2-2. Jimmer Fredette calls up the screen, dribbles around, and knocks down the long tray. One thing you can never do is let a scorer get going, especially when he's 2-for-2 two two from 3. Here comes another one. One thing I love about Jimmer Fredette is that he understands how to be quick but not in a rush. It's never a hurry. Passes the ball, sets up the play for this down screen, gets some open space, and that's all he needs. Now we're in the second half, and just like any other time, Jimmer has to read the defense to figure out what they're doing. They switch again, he has a bigger defender on him, gives him a crossover, doesn't have what he, what he wants, but he wants the ball back. Let's see what he does. Oof. On right-handed shooters, you have to put your left hand up. Jimmer reads it, pulls up right in his face for a long tray. The difference between a ball hog and a scorer is your willingness to give up the ball. Here, Jimmer Fredette, like always, draws attention from another defender and gives it up. Great play. One thing about being a scorer, especially one that can shoot, is that you're a threat anywhere on the floor. Here you can see Jimmer gives it up, seems as if he's out to play, but he's always in range for a deadly three. One thing you never want to do is get a score upset. In this situation, he blocks the shot and lets Jimmer know about it. Now you got Jimmer mad and he has to take it out on your teammate. Ooh. Jimmy lets his frustration out with a nice crossover and pull up jump shot in the face. The thing you gotta love about Jimmy for that is that he let the game come to him. In this situation, he sees that his defender is in all out denial, not looking at the ball. This gives him the opportunity to cut back door for an easy wide open layup. Jimmer's defender is in the denial position, but he peeks to see where the ball is, and once he does that, Jimmer's gone for the two. Because Jimmer Fredette is such a deadly outside shooter, you almost always have to switch, even if that means a big guy coming out, and Jimmer always takes advantage of that. As you can see here, nice little hesitation crossover. He gets some body contact and has upper body strength to still finish. As you can see, there are tons of ways to score the ball, and Jimmer Fredette can do it all. Don't forget to log on to jumpstarthoops.com. Go ahead and submit your email to our email list, and we'll be in contact. Till next time, I'll see you at the top.